Hey guys, so today I come with you to um, look at the things, at least some of the things that my kids got for Easter this year. Honestly, I am blown away by everything they got. Um, to me, Easter's not a holiday to give a ton of gifts or anything. It's, for me personally, Easter is supposed to be more of a internal spiritual holiday to just you know, celebrate the fact that Jesus lived and died for us to save us and um, just, you know, take away our sins on the cross and everything. Um, but I don't really need to get into that spiel. I feel like most of the world knows what the Christian view on Easter is. <laughs> but um, I was just wanting to come on here and um, show a little bit of what my kids got. Um, now with that being said about me not feeling like Easter is a material holiday where you're supposed to get toys and candy or whatever, that doesn't mean I didn't get stuff for my kids. But there were things that my kids can learn from, can grow from, um, things to wear, or um, like books, crayons, stuff like that. Um, so we, my husband and I, don't believe that our kids should really have any processed sugar or candy, um, at least not yet. When they get older, we will probably let them have some, but as long as they're little like they are, we'd rather them get things like, actually I have a bag of them right here, like these Zolly Pops. They're candy, which my daughter loves, however, as you can see on the package, it says the Clean Teeth Pops. So they're candy that's good for you and it helps improve your oral health and takes care of your gums, teeth, all that. Um, so I don't feel bad giving her those, but I'm actually using those to potty train her. So yet again, candy is more of a reward instead of a more common, like everyday thing for us. But anyway, let's get into this. Um, I feel like I rambled enough. So, I don't have right here with me all the things that we got for our kids, um, but I can describe them to you. Um, we got some books for my kids. They're all hard uh, board books. Um, there were a lot of little ones about this big. Yeah, I don't see one over here. Um, <laughs> that are Easter or animal related. They come in a set of three. Um, so there were three that were Easter related, three that were animals, and the animal book also teaches what sounds the animals make, which I think is pretty awesome trying to, you know, educate our kids as much as we can as they're little and as they grow, but keep everything fun as well. And luckily our daughter loves books and I'm hoping our son will too, because we have a lot of books. <laughs> um, but uh, we got those for our kids and then our son, we got three onesies for him. Um, they are, two of them were six months, which he can wear now, and one of them was um, 12 months, which he'll probably be wearing this fall if he keeps growing at the rate he is. But um, they're gender neutral onesies, and they have animals on them. Um, they're white sh uh, short sleeve t-shirt onesies, and they also have scripture on them, which is adorable and I love the fact that if we have more kids I can pass them on no matter what their gender um, and then for my daughter we got her some 2T t-shirts which are too big for her but she can grow into them that are Sesame Street characters so two of them are Elmo t-shirts and one of them is Elmo I think Cookie Monster, Oscar the Grouch, and Grover are the four characters on that shirt um, and they are also gender neutral so when our son gets to where he's wearing 2T he can also wear those shirts um, I don't try to keep all my kids clothes gender neutral um, Kenan has stuff with footballs on it and cars and you know all the typical like boy stuff and our daughter has little princess shirts and stuff like that too um, but I do like the idea of being able to share some clothes as well instead of it just being hers or his, um, especially since we're not necessarily guaranteed to have any more kids in the future, but if it is gender neutral, then we can still pass it on to whoever comes along in, in the next part of our family's adventure. <laughs> um, 
So I got those. Um, we got some chalk, which I do have here. It's a set of five colors, and they are Paw Patrol chalk pieces. Um, the top here slides down, and then the chalk, if you turn it upside down, it'll come out, and then you can slide the ring back up to hold it in place. Um, and then my daughter, she doesn't like to be messy. She'll play with chalk, but then she wants to wash off her hands while she's playing with it because it's on her hands and she doesn't like that feeling. So I thought these were awesome because she doesn't actually have to touch the chalk to play with it. Um, so yeah, these were pretty cool. It comes in green, pink, blue, yellow, and red. Um, we also got them some bathtub um, toys. We got some crayons and markers that they can use in the bathtub. And also a bath book that is Elmo. Um, they already have one bath book that is the Rainbow Fish. But um, I figured Elmo was a good in-between. Because the Rainbow Fish is a little bit too wordy for our daughter right now. But she'll get there eventually. And she still likes opening, opening up the book while she's in the bath. And looking at the fish in the pretty colors. <laughs> um, let's see. What else did we get our son or daughter or... Oh, we got, I can't reach them, we got a box about this thick um, that is flashcards, and they're for American Sign Language. Um, for those that don't know me, I am not fluent in American Sign Language, but I know American Sign Language and can get along pretty well. Um, in several places that I've worked, I've actually been able to use it to help different customers try to find products they're looking for or order food or whatever the scenario was and I always feel good when I can help people and my husband and I would really like it if our kids could at least be bilingual if not more than that so we're trying to teach them obviously English our primary language um, but also at least Spanish and or sign language so I'm teaching them sign language and a little bit of Spanish that I know which isn't much and my husband is trying to teach them Spanish as well He's definitely more fluent than I, but not fluent either. <laughs> um, and then we also know just a couple random, like, German, French, Italian, Chinese, or Mandarin, whatever, uh, different words in different languages. Um, so when I count to five, I'll count in, like, five or six different languages to five, um, just so my kids can get that experience and hopefully start picking up on things. Um, so there's like a YouTube video that my daughter watches that are eggs and the video is in Spanish. And so she started to respond when they ask, you know, if you're ready to open the eggs and she'll say, see, sí, I want to open them, see, sí. um, which is super adorable in my mind. Um, oh, I got, um, our daughter, it's a little pinwheel, like the things on a stick that you blow and it spins around and it's little plastic bunnies. I thought that was adorable, and we call her our little bunny, so that was perfect. Um, I don't know. I feel like there was something else that we got them, but that's all I can think of off the top of my head right now. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll get to the stuff that's around me. Um, so my daughter today got a thing of makeup. Um, it's eyeshadow, fingernail polish, lip gloss, um, eyeshadow brush, and then a couple of hair barrettes. Um, that's super cute and super sweet. Um, however, she's not two yet, and we aren't comfortable with her playing with makeup yet. So I am going to save that for when she gets a little bit older. Um, I don't feel bad not letting her have it yet. One, because she doesn't even really know what she got. She just knows it's a package with the princesses on it. But if it were to, I don't know, say disappear tonight because I hide it somewhere, um, she would have no idea. And then she gets to experience it later and have fun with it. And it'll be more age appropriate and she'll actually kind of understand what to do, which I think is better. Um, and then she also got this keychain that is a mirror of Cinderella. It's kind of hard to see. Lighting in here is not the best. And a hair comb. Um, this, I'm thinking about making her her own, like, backpacker bag. And then I'll clip this on it. And then whenever we're out and about somewhere, we can comb her hair or whatever. It's just nice and handy. I really like that. 
Um, she got several stickers that are these foam pieces, and you peel the back off. Um, she did go ahead and use almost all of them as soon as she got them because she just loves stickers. Um, I think this is the only survivor, a little sparkly orange one. Um, and then in an Easter egg she got, I think at church actually, she got some little dinosaur stickers here. And we are currently using a lot of stickers in potty training. Um, just to reward her for even sitting on the toilet and trying, she gets a sticker. So those are awesome additions. Um, our son got a Elmo rattle. This I'm going to have to try to keep away from our daughter. Um, she's going to want to take it from him because it's Elmo and she is currently obsessed with Elmo. Um, but I think it's adorable and we actually have the Cookie Monster Teether from that same brand. Um, so it's going to be cute having the little set. And then he got a teether that it's a blue ice cream cone. And you put this one in the freezer because it has water in it. And so when he's like hurting from teething, he has this nice, cool, um, gel-like substance to chew on and help relieve that pain. Um, our kids did get a lot of candy. And when I say a lot of candy, I mean a lot of candy. <laughs> um, but we don't like to give our kids candy. I think I might have already explained that. So, my husband and I are going to have to try to eat all this. <laughs> um, there's also a little bit more than a handful of jelly beans and some, um, like, Ritz crackers, goldfish, um, stuff like that. Our daughter is allergic to dairy, and so she can't have any of those, and our son's not old enough to have them yet, so we're going to eat those as well. <laughs> um, and then she got this little goodie bag marshmallows, Oreos, um, blonde Oreos, little Nutter Butters, and peanut butter puffs. And, uh, everything in here is dairy-free. Um, and I'm kind of debating on whether or not I'm going to let her have it. The peanut butter puffs I know are okay. Um, we actually have bought those in the past for her. She really, really loves them. And they're good for her. It's a great source of protein. And it's a puff, which kids love to just, you know, snack on things. But I'm not so sure about giving her the Oreos and the marshmallows and stuff because of just how much sugar is in them. Even though they're dairy-free, that doesn't mean that they're healthy. Um, so, yeah, we're, we have to debate about that one. Um, but we were also given a big bag of Just the Puffs. So even if she doesn't get to eat that little bag, she has this whole big bag. And she actually already wanted to open it, and we told her she had to wait. Um, they got a little lamb. And a little bunny. And then got this little egg chick thing. You wind it up and the chick moves. Um, but also there's wheels on the bottom, so when you wind it up, it takes off like a little car. Our son got this little Dr. Brown's Chick Passy. And I was given a notepad. I like to make lists and stuff, so notepads are a decently common gift for me. Um, they got two of these, um, two different designs, so I'll show you both, but the little sun dancers. This is the one that my son got, and this one's my daughter's. It says Easter in its hands. And then at church, they were given these little bears. They say the same thing, and they're just opposite colors. One's a pink bear, one's a blue bear, one's a pink heart, one's a blue heart. Um, so this is the one our son was given, blue bear with a pink heart. And then our daughter was given the pink bear with a blue heart. But it says, Jesus loves you. And it's just a cute little plushie in this little bag. Um, so yeah, there's all that. Um, they got a couple sets of bubbles like this. Little duck bubbles. And they got some bunny bubbles. And they got just regular bubbles. <laughs> they got a... So there's a couple Easter things that I don't have here because we chose to leave them at the grandparents' house, either because we already had them or because 
um, they could use them better than we could just based on what we have here. Um, so there is a DVD that they got that we left at my parents' house, and that was on purpose. Um, but we got this DVD today. Here comes Peter Cottontail, the original classic. Um, I think it'll be cute to see if Aria likes this. She's kind of weird when it comes to TV. Um, she likes... Um, you know, Mickey Mouse, Puppy Dog Pal, stuff like that. But then she likes Shrek. Just a random Shrek cartoon is something she likes, but she doesn't like to watch just Minnie Mouse. Or she doesn't like to watch, um, Sophia the First. You know, just kind of weird things like that. Um, we got some books. We got a Mama Loves Her Silly Goose. And I love Old McDonald's Farm. We got the bunny book, where you go through and touch the bunnies and bubbles and different items in the book. And Happy Easter Mouse. I love the foil on this. It's such pretty colors. Um, so those are all the books that they got today. Except, do to do one coloring book. Um, they also got a set of crayons, but I've already emptied it into our crayon box. Um, that way I wouldn't have to worry about doing that later and causing any confusion. But anyway, um, Arya got this little pony that comes with a little comb, so you can brush her mane and tail. This is also a toy that I'm going to wait until she's just a little bit older to use. Um, because I know she's going to lose this comb in like two seconds. And I don't want to have to try to keep up with it. So I'm just going to keep it all together. Um, and put it up until she's just a little bit older. Um, she got a purse. Yes. And she got a baton. A bunny baton. Do do do. Magic wand. Whatever. But a little bunny with hard eyes. And sparkly ears. Um, I don't know where the other one is. It might have got left behind, but they got two stress balls. They were different colors, um, but they're little Easter eggs. And so as long as Arya doesn't try to eat it, I think we're okay for, let th for them to play with this. Um, we brought home. Now, we had more than this, but we purposely left some eggs at different locations. Um, we brought home 80... I think it's 81 plastic eggs, and they are in this shopping bag. But I also have over seven dozen plastic eggs already, <laughs> so we have a pretty good amount for next year. Um, they got this little Play-Doh set. Um, this I'm also possibly going to hold on to until she gets a little bit older, um, but it's a little dog, and you can grow his hair and a bone and one thing of Play-Doh. I do think at her age it's best just to do one color of Play-Doh at a time because if you mix it, they, she doesn't really understand that you can't take it back apart and it just, it's just easier to keep it simple. <laughs> um, they got these little hoppers. Arya got the little bunny and Kenan got a little chick. And Arya loves these. She squeals and laughs and says all kinds of cute little phrases while watching them play. So I think that's adorable. <laughs> Um, our son got this rattle ball, um, so as you can hear, it has um, something up here that rolls around and rattles along with these little beads on the side, but it's really awesome because it has this ball grippy squishy part at the bottom, so he can chew on this thing, he can grab it, he can throw it, <laughs> um, you know, make all kinds of noise, all kinds of fun things with it, and he didn't have any... Um, any kind of rattle or thing like this so this is a good multi tool and super cute and I think it will really help him with his growth and development there's that we got a toy ambulance car um, this is actually his first toy car um, I had ordered him a little people car but I guess my order got cancelled and I was never notified of it, um, so that didn't show up on time and 
I just checked my orders the other day and it's not currently on order so I might reorder that for him. Um, but yeah, his first little toy car. And then we got do 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 some bunny ears. Pink and blue. Um, we actually ended up getting five of these. Three blue, two pink. Um, and so I'm actually going to give some to the different grandparents. That way when the kids are at their house they can play dress up with these things. And I mean, I don't need to have five. My kids can share or whatever they need to do. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much oh I know something that I forgot to say that we got the kids um I don't know what the brands exactly are I know what we got Aria is the water well brand it's the little booklets that come with these water markers and you fill this thing up with water color on the pages and the pages change color as they come in contact with the water and then after just a couple minutes they slowly start to fade away and you can color over and over and over again so we got her two of those that she can use now and Kenan can use later. And they are, um, I think one's alphabet and the other's numbers. So yet again, something fun that she can do, but it's also educational. Um, and for Kenan, these are the ones that I don't remember what they're called. Um, but she, he got um, a doodle book like those, but they don't, the ink doesn't disappear. Once you color it, it's there. Um, so he got the Incredibles and Mickey Mouse. Um, I figured at his current age he doesn't need to know numbers and letters yet, um, but he can start learning how to color. Um, so step in the right direction. <laughs> um, and then the last couple things that we were given for our kids are actually clothes. So um, I kind of have them all around me here. Um, our daughter was given either 12-month or 18-month clothing, and our son was given 6-month clothing. Um, so this is an outfit that we were given for our daughter. This is 12-month. And then she also got this jumper, which is 12-month. Got a little hard on the butt. And this one, which is just pink hearts all over it. And then it has little ruffles on the butt. All those were 12 month and Ken was given this romper that has bugs crawling all over it um Aria was given these leggings that go with this little dinosaur top <laughs> kind of hard to do one-handed yeah it's a little dinosaur doing ballet and it says on it Prima T-Rex Arena. <laughs> um, and then also these little leggings. Oh, um, I'm sorry, what size was that? That's 12 month. <laughs> um, this next set is 18 month. And so she was given these pants, uh, different pinks, blues, purples, white, gray, black, with a little shirt. Do, 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 do. Besties forever. And it's a Catacorn, Pandacorn, and Doggacorn. Um, those are super trendy and super cute. And then, um, I think the rest of these are Kenan's. Um, so he got this outfit. Daddy's little all-star. And it has a little hood. Sorry, I wasn't showing that very well. Uh, and then he got this uh, iguana outfit. And dude, it's like sweatshirt material, little dude with a hoodie. And a dog on a boat. It says little mate. That's what it says, little mate. It's navy and white stripe, also with a hood. And last one is a little, ooh, that is terrible lighting. Uh, little shark outfit with the fishes acting like they're sharks so they don't get eaten with a big fish acting like a shark on the back. I think this is adorable and of course trendy with the whole baby shark thing. Um, but yeah, I think that's all that we got 
the kids for Easter, and like I said, it's more than I ever expected, um, but we are so grateful for everything that was given to us for the kids, um, and we do plan on passing on generosity to other people. Um, for Lent this year, we decided instead of giving up like sodas or whatever, that we would instead pick one item out of our house to be donated to a local charity. Um, whether it's new, used, whatever, as long as it was in decent shape. Um, and so we have a pretty good amount stockpiled that we're going to do that with. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything. I hope you all had a wonderful Easter. And I don't come on here to brag. I just know a lot of people like to see, um, you know, things that little kids get or just hauls in general. Um, but please don't think that I'm coming on here just to be like, oh, look at all the things my kids got. Sorry your kids didn't, because that's not what I'm going for at all. Um, I come here just to be open and honest with you all and to share our lives as much as we can. Um, and as much as we're feeling open to, I should say. Because, um, you know, you don't want to share all the little nitty gritty and for safety reasons. Of course, there's things you don't want to share then too. But um, just thank you so much for spending this time with me. I hope you all have a wonderful evening or day, whatever time you watch this. And I will see you soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.